Hello everybody, it is Badge Wild and we are back with another Space Engineers tutorial video. Now, something I know a lot of people have probably been wondering about, and uh, <laughs> I myself included have wondered about this, is some of y'all are probably wondering, is it possible in Space Engineers with the new AI update to create a ground vehicle? And uh, yeah, but there is a trick to it. So without further ado, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to hop in here and we're going to pull out something interesting known as Yold. Let me get this thing all lined up here. I'm going to pull out Yold Desert Raider. Y'all have seen this bad boy in one of our older videos. Now, the thing about drones when you build them, they're designed to operate with all their equipment working in tandem. So, as you can see here, this is how we're going to make a ground vehicle. We're going to take something that already exists, like this hover truck here, for instance. And you can see it, it gets a moderate amount of speed. About 20, it moves pretty good. But if you're wanting something that can, you know, get something and get something quick and bring it back quickly, which I may update this truck at some point. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to turn this truck into a vehicle that can support a, <clears throat> a drone system. So, first things first, we're going to have to like tear some stuff out of the back here to make this work. Or just, yeah, we'll have to tear some stuff out. So first off, let's rip a few of these bottom panels out here so that we can get all of our electronics and some interesting little tricks we can do. Nope, didn't want to do that. <laughs> Why would you not just... There we go, there we go. Now, for the... Put this back in here. There we go. So, we've got room back in here. Let's say we want to make just a very simple drone that's going to follow us. First things first, we're going to put our movement block in, if we can find a place to put it. May have to put this up high. May just have to delete a seat. Let's delete both seats. Okay, so that's our rear panel. And then we are going to want our basic AI task. Right there, that'll give us a, our AI that can follow. We are also going to want number five, our AI recorder block, or not a recorder block, our AI remote block. We'll do that. And then the final block we're going to use, our antenna. Actually, we'll just shove him right in here just to make room for stuff. Now, <clears throat> here's where the next part comes into play. We're going to grab couple of thrusters here. And we got to find a place where we can put them at. And put one there. Now this is the thing about these thrusters that we're putting on. I have to put them on in such a way to where I've got thrusters on top and on bottom. Now these are hydrogen thrusters. And the reason I'm using hydrogen thrusters right now is because they are fairly cheap. Okay, they're they're just fairly cheap thrusters. But one of the main reasons is drones don't operate very well unless they know they have a thruster going in all directions. So what we're doing is we're taking the main thrusters here, the up and down thrust, or the altitude thrusters, and we're putting them in an area of the drone where they will not become a problem. They're not going to allow the drone to move up and down. This is going to enable us to hover it like you would build a hover bike. So now, first things first, we're going to hop into the vehicle. And we're going to do like we normally do. We're going to go up here, we're going to look for the basic AI task. <coughs> Excuse me. Tell it to follow me. Do the follow distance at about 20 meters. Turn on that AI behavior. 
And then we're going to leave collision avoidance on. I'm going to set the speed limit to about 20 meters per second. Minimum altitude doesn't really matter. P line of gravity doesn't really matter. Now, I don't want this thing to pitch very far, and I don't want it to roll very far. I want it to have a little bit of roll, probably about in like the 10 degree. A little pitch in the 10 degree. And then we turn on AI behavior. I hop out. And once we get within... See right here, here it comes. And it's following. And there you go, folks. Let me use some admin powers here. And turn this blasted weather off. So you guys can see this better. But yeah, there you go. We have a drone that is now able to follow us. And these things are pretty versatile. As you can see, I believe it's following. Yes. It is following and doing a good job of it. <laughs> you can see the same. Now, <clears throat> there may be a few problems with terrain. That's why I said you do want to give it a little bit of pitch. It's tempting to just say no, no pitch at all. But if you do that, you start running into problems where it can't pitch. It's also the land mass you're taking it on. There we go. Just follow me out here. As you can see, we've got a vehicle that's operating on its own. Now, you can do a lot of things with this. Like I said, it's just a clever trick with the thrusters. This is not my design. I got it from another person, but I can't remember what the video was. I saw it. <clears throat> like I said, now you have a hovercraft that can just go where it needs to go. It can do what it needs to do. It can get the vehicles and equipment wherever you need them to go. You can set these things up also, I believe, with the um, AI recorder and use it to set your stuff into a certain area. So as you can see here, it, see back, it has a max speed of 20. I'm going to stop right here. And you can see just like that. Here he comes. And just like that, our little drone comes up to us. If we want to get real creative, though, oh, this out here. Get my own vehicle. And as you can see, he is following us no problem. Even on flat surfaces. <clears throat> so anywhere this hovercraft can go, that hovercraft can go as well. All we've done is we've taken a regular hovering unit and we've converted it into a drone. Very quickly, very simply. And now if you want to turn your drone into a vehicle. I would I would suggest if you put these on the ground to keep the speed limit reasonable within about 20 because your drone's going to have difficulty stopping and it is also going to have difficulty uh, with terrain. Once it gets to about faster speeds, this is something with rovers, uh, when you get to faster speeds, the physics start to take effect and they start chucking your vehicle all over the place. So yeah. <clears throat> anyway, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you have lots of options and lots of things to think about. For some reason, my character has gone normal. I don't know why I don't have my normal spacesuit on. But anyway, folks, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys make some awesome-looking ground drones. This is just about the perfect way you could make some really good heavy hauler drones or some sort of drone that brings people back and forth 
from point A to point B, where it would just drive up, lock itself down, charge itself back up, turn around, take back off. And you can create a taxi services with this. You can create hauling. Uh, you can even have drones with weapon systems on it that just patrol on little hovers around with their own drones. And then you can have this constantly evolving, constantly in motion, and constantly changing defense system, which is very hard to counteract if you don't if you're not expecting it. You can have these little stealthy drones moving around in your around your base, paint them green, and make them difficult. The George Carlin joke. For those of you who don't know, George Carlin talking about flamethrowers. You know, the military shows up after they make the flamethrower and says, "We would like to, uh, we'd like to buy four thousand of these. We'd like you to paint them brown, so no one will see them coming." Anyway, folks, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, stay frosty. This is Badger Wild. Signing out.